hello welcome back to the Terra shelf this is Lori if you are new to my channel hello and welcome every week I pull decks from my tarot collection and share them with you here so if you like that type of thing go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything and we will go ahead and get into it um, I have I believe there's 13 decks that I'm going to show you today in the tarot hall. So I'll go ahead and unwrap them all and then I will be back and we will go through them. Alrighty, the first one we're going to take a look at is Tarot of the Abyss and this is a new release that just came out and you can purchase it from US Games. That's where I got mine. It does come in a two-part box and you get this little white book with it, little guidebook, and um, it is a black and white deck, and it is gorgeous. The illustrations on this is just amazing. Um, if you haven't seen this deck floating around, you will be, because it's just, it, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful deck. I mean, just take a look at this. Look at this little card. She's just beautiful. I can tell that this deck is going to be a new favorite of mine. They're just beautiful and I'm not going to go through all of the cards otherwise this tarot haul video is going to be super long but I just wanted you to take a look at some of the cards I will probably do a fast flip on this one but this deck is just beautiful I love it all right, I'm gonna stop here on this one. Otherwise, I'm gonna show you all the cards. This video is gonna take forever, but go check this out, Tarot of the Abyss. All righty. All righty, this next one is the Phantom Fauna Oracle deck. And this one is also a new release. I got this one off of Kickstarter and it is created and illustrated by Sam Sawyer. It does come with a small guidebook and um, these cards are round. It is an animal-based oracle deck. And I love the color tones that she has chosen for this deck. It's absolutely beautiful, I love it. And the card stock is that rose petal finish. So super soft, but I really enjoy this deck. I can't wait to work with this deck. It's just beautiful. So let me know if you intend to get this deck or if you have it. Go ahead and see what deck is next. Okay, the next one is Visionary Tarot, and this is the Golden Edition. I also um, got this deck off of Kickstarter, and I backed this deck a while back, but I'm just now opening it, so I wanted to go ahead and share that with you. It does come with a little white book here, but um, I'm not sure if this deck actually came in different editions since this is the golden edition. I'm not sure what other editions it came in. I'll probably have to check that out, but let me know if you have this deck. But it has this beautiful gold gilding on the sides and the backs are this black and gold. And then the cards are all black and white. So they are really cool cards. I'm finding myself being drawn more and more towards black and white decks but we'll go ahead and take a look at the couple of the cards here magician high priestess I might do a fast flip with this one too so I can show you all the cards I just hate to make this video super long lovers oh the mermaid <laughs> those must be all like ocean based justice the hanged man yep it is I'm gonna have to get more in depth with this deck but I just wanted to share it with you guys and let me know what you think about it all right, we will move on to the next deck. Okay, this next one is the messages from the mermaids. And the art in this deck 
is absolutely beautiful. I love it. I saw um, this whenever Hay House had their sale and I was like, mm, that looks really good. I love the imagery. So I went ahead and got it. So this one is from Hay House, but the images, oh my gosh, in this deck is beautiful. Just beautiful. So this is like an Oracle deck and it comes with a good sized guidebook here. So let me know if you have this deck. It's been out for a while. I just never got it. I got it when I saw that, like I said, that Hay House was having a sale and I was like, hmm, these are really pretty. But look at the, look at the artwork. It is just beautiful. I'm sure some of you already have this deck. If you do, let me know what tarot deck um, have you paired it with. Just beautiful. I love it. Okay. All right. We're going to move on to the next one. Alrighty, so this next one um, is the Damon Tarot, the Forbidden Wisdom of the Internal Dictionary. But I really think that this is more like an oracle deck. Um, it is a deck of 69 cards, and I'm not sure, quite sure how I'm going to use this. Um, it's interesting. <laughs> it's different, but... Um, I wouldn't really say it's a tarot deck. Let me know if you have this deck too and what you think of it and how you use it. But it says, what does the Damon Tarot hold in store for you? Summon the powers of the infernal beings to guide you on your path. So I am not sure exactly. It's different and it comes with a big old guidebook. It's a 160 page book. So, and it tells you about each card. And so this might be a good one for like shadow work or around Samhain. I don't know how I'm going to use it. But let me know if you have this deck. It is new to me and I like the imagery. So I got it. Okay, this next one I, I already know is going to be one of my absolute favorites. I can't believe I took so long opening it. <laughs> but it's amazing. It is called the Wheel of Fortune Tarot. And I also got this one off of Kickstarter and um, a long time ago. And I'm just now unboxing it and opening it up. But uh, this is an amazing deck. The cardstock on here, I don't have any other deck with this kind of cardstock. I want to say it's kind of like plasticky, but not really. I, I can't really explain it, but they are gorgeous, gorgeous cards. And it has this beautiful hologram on the sides. But these decks, uh, I, I can't believe it. I mean, I've had this deck <laughs> for a long, long time. And like I said, I'm just now opening it up. But the cards are beautiful. Let me know if you have this deck. I haven't really seen it around either, so I'm surprised about that, but I will be sharing it. I will definitely be doing a full, like, walkthrough, flip through of this deck. But it's just gorgeous. I love it. Strength. Hermit. The Wheel of Fortune. Absolutely love it. Look at that hangman. Okay, let me know if you have this deck. I'm interested to know. I will be sharing this sucker all over. Because <laughs> it's gorgeous. So, okay, let me see what's next. Alrighty, next up is the original Arthur Rackham Oracle. It says, Revise and Refine, second edition, 80 Oracle cards. And it is from Duck Soup Productions. And this one does come with a little white book here. 
And as I was going through the cards, I re- like, again, I've had this deck for a while. I never opened it yet. I mean, this is the first time I'm opening it. It is beautiful. It has a beautiful gold gilding. I'm just not sure if I am drawn to the images in these cards. I think that this might be a deck that I'm going to be re- rehoming. And I will be doing a video coming up soon on decks I will be rehoming. I really just don't. I love the imagery, but I'm just not really. It's not really calling to me. Let me know if you have this deck. Probably next week I'll be doing another video of decks that I'm going to be rehoming. And. Oh, I don't know. Do I want to rehome this deck? I just, I'm not, I don't know. But I do have several decks that I will be rehoming, so I will be doing a video next week um, showing you those, and I will be offering them to my subscribers first. So if, whenever I do show you that video, if you'd like to purchase them, I'm gonna, uh, you know, show them to you guys first. But I think that this is gonna be a deck that I'm gonna be rehoming. I love the imagery. I'm just, hmm, don't know. Okay, let's see. Next deck. Alrighty, here is another deck that I backed on Kickstarter a while back and that I am just now opening up. And it is the Young Witch Tarot deck. And it says, when I see a cloud, what do I see? I see an angel, a lion, a tree. When I read my cards, what do I see? I see whatever they mean to me. That's pretty cute. So it does come with a guidebook. And um, I originally bought this deck because um, I thought that maybe um, whenever my daughter is old enough to maybe want to do cards if she wants to, that um, she could use this deck. Um, the cardstock on here, though, is, like, really flimsy. It's, like, it feels like a playing card, but even thinner. So, they're just, like, really thin and slippery. The cards are really slippery, slippery. But, um, I think they'd be good for a child learn, I guess, because it has the meanings on the bottom, you know, telling you stuff on there, but... So, it's a cute deck. Alright, let's see what is next. Okay, the next one up is the Zombie Tarot. And this is a pretty cool deck. I love everything like 1950s retro. And these cards are that. Um, just in zombie form. <laughs> but they are super cute. I love them. Um, the box is even friggin' cool. On the side of it, look, it's got this ammunition. Because you're going to need that to kill all the zombies, you know. <laughs> Very cute. Um, the cardstock, it does come with this guidebook. We'll talk about that first. And the guidebook, the guidebook is really cute. Um, has a colored image for each one. It's, it's, it's a good guidebook. I like it. And um, the cardstock, though is like cardboardy a little bit yeah <laughs> I love this deck but the card stock is like cardboard <laughs> just saying um but let me know if you have this deck I love the imagery it's just so quirky and fun hmm <laughs> love it <laughs> but I'm sure you guys have seen this, seen this deck around but it's super cute and I had to get it so I did all right let's see what deck is next alrighty the next one is 100 ink animal oracle card deck and I got this on Kickstarter a long time ago. Again, I back them, I get them, but I haven't opened them. And I mean, I want to be able to open them when I'm going to use them. But it's been a long time since I've had this deck and I'm just now opening it. 
but it is an oracle um, animal based deck. Here are the backs of it. It's like a, you know, poker mini size deck. And it just has, um, it does come with a nice guidebook on here. And it just has um, each animal on here. And she also did it so you can read them upright and reversed in the guidebook. It has a meaning for both. And just has a word down there associated with each animal. So it's a pretty black and white deck. And like I said, I haven't. I haven't opened it and I'm just not opening it <laughs> so hopefully I'll be able to use it here pretty soon but let me know if you have this deck and what you think about it all right let's go on to the next deck all right a lot of you probably have this deck but I am just now getting it <laughs> it is the Halloween Oracle deck and I love this deck um, I've seen it around and I'm just, like I said, I'm just now getting around to get in it. Um, but this is going to be an awesome deck to work with um, during Halloween, um, Samhain time. It's just, it's a cool deck. I love it. So it says, unleash your inner monster and trick or treat your way into a connection with the most magical and scary night of the year. Halloween. So very cute cards. I love it. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Let's check out the next deck. Alrighty, this next one is The Good Tarot. And I have been eyeballing this deck for a long time. Um, so, again, when Hay House had their sale, I went ahead and picked it up. I finally got it. Um, but it is a beautiful deck. It comes with a good size guidebook. And, um, gosh, it's just a beautiful deck. It's from Colette Baron reed And on the back of the deck, it says, The classical tarot gets a modern twist in this gorgeous deck, rooted in positive uh, psychology and personal transformation. The suits are the four elements, air, water, earth, and fire. It's a beautiful deck. It is um, larger. You can see that was a standard, uh, the Rider right Waite Smith size card. And so they are bigger cards, but they are so pretty. And I don't mind this gloss. They are the glossy finish, and I don't mind the glossy. They are just beautiful cards. Absolutely gorgeous. And I cannot wait to work with this deck. So let me know if you have this deck. And. I'm curious on what Oracle deck to match with this deck. So um, if you use a certain Oracle deck with this tarot deck, let me know. But man, this deck is just beautiful. So this one is the good tarot. All right, let's move on to the next one. Alrighty, um, this last deck is actually an affirmations deck. And I got this one on Hay House as well when they were having their sale. And it is How to Love Yourself cards. And it's a deck of 64. And I love these types of decks. I love pulling one a day. Um, they just are good for your soul. And I love it. Um, some, let me see. Let me read one right here. It says, My business is pro prosperous. And then it says, I rejoice in other people's success because I know there is plenty for everyone. I mean, they're just so positive. I love positivity. I love spreading positivity. And there is no room for bad juju in my life. So <laughs> um, if you don't have a set of affirmation cards, please get yourself a set, a set and just pull one a day. And it'll brighten up your day. I promise. So that is it for this tarot deck oracle haul. I hope you enjoyed it. And let me know what you think. Do you have any of these decks? Do you plan on getting any of these decks? So let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.